You know, and that's why it ain't good for Jake to know crime, man. Jake don't tell on himself, man. Uh, in a murder case, man. That, that ain't, man, that ain't no good, man. That's why you gotta come back to the statue of the commandment to forsake that world, man. Come And worship your how about you know shot, man. Right. Come Hey, like you said, it, it ain't, it ain't good for Jake to be doing no sin. Because we ultimately Jake got the spirit of Yahweh by Shimmy in them. But they don't feed that spirit. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they feed that sin. And then when they get caught in it, they tell on themselves. Alright? Like I said, Esau, which, which Esau was the spirit in Cain, dwelling in Cain. That's why we bringing it out. Cain is the spirit in Esau. Well, yeah, come. Yeah. Cain was the spirit in Esau. Go out of brother. The spirit in Cain was uh Satan. Come and the spirit in Cain, yeah, was yeah. that sin was Satan. Come. Alright? That's why he rose up against his brother and slew him. And then the most high cursed him. He put that mark on him. Alright? That mark was a sign. Yeah, bring it out, brother. You want me to go back to uh verse 15? Or just keep going on through? Uh you can skip on down to 15. Okay, it says, uh uh, I started 14. God. Well, I started 13. God. It says, And Cain said unto Yahweh, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Hmm. Why did he say that? Why did he say my punishment is greater than I can bear? Because everybody back then was dark skinned. He was looking like an oddball. Yeah, but see, back then, they knew if you was like that, man, you had to do something wrong. God. Yeah. <laughs> if you done done something wrong, what's wrong with you? You done done something wrong. Cut. Oh, you done went against the most high. Cut. That's what it is. Cut. Okay, go ahead. It says, Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond, vagabond in the earth. Hey, right, and that's, and that's, and that's, uh, same way Esau is, same way Cain was. He was running throughout the earth, right? And ain't been charged for what he had done. He got, the, the, the charge, the charge was, when he finally got charged, when he finally got charged for what he had done, the earth was flooded, right? Y'all better stay with me, I'm gonna get you back Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, and prove why the earth was uh was flooded okay uh that's in uh, uh oh, oh, oh. wisdom of solomon uh so, sorry sorry bro it's uh when it says the 10th 10th chapter to the top that's uh yeah yeah, start at one. From Adam to Moses. It says. Yeah, really, it's, I, really, I think it's the third verse. It's about the third or fourth verse. Yeah. I see it in the fourth verse. Okay, all right. Con. It says, I start uh, Wisdom of Solomon 10. And I'll just start at the top. I can read through it real okay. quick. She preserved the first born father of the world and was created alone and brought him out of, the, out of his fall and gave him power to rule all things. But when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger, he perished also in the fury wherewith he murdered his brother. Who was that talking about? God. Cain. God. Right? Go ahead. He says, wherewith he murdered his brother. Verse 4. For whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood, wisdom again preserved it and directed the course of the righteous in so, a piece so. of wood of small value. So, who did that righteousness stick with? No one. God. So why was the earth flooded? It was because it came. That sin was all throughout the earth. And what had happened was, uh, the Adamites started following it. God. Okay, started following that sin. Okay, because they went off. Okay? But the main reason why the earth was flooded is because of Cain wickedness. It, it was spread like crazy. And that was a judgment. Okay? He was hit with that leprosy. God. Right? Which Get is that mark. Right? God. He couldn't bear it. 
right? Everybody knew that he was wicked, but that way of life started increasing on the earth. Uh, and the Most High said, look, I got a flood. Right. I got a flood. So it started with Cain. Uh, uh, okay? It started, it started with it started with Cain. You know? Alright. You know, well going back to going back to that 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 serpent. You know, even going before then, but we really even, Yeah, it started to multiply with, with Cain. Uh, okay. Which was that serpent which was a man. That 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 that, that, that spirit uh that, that, that man that was back there, he had a subtile spirit, like a snake. He was cunning and crafty and wicked, okay? And he was able to uh, uh, influence Eve, okay? And it jumped from her, okay? And then it went to it went to, uh, went to Cain, and then it started spreading through all out the earth. Mm -hmm. But that's the reason why the earth was flooded, is because of what Cain and all the wickedness that was happening upon the earth, according to the scriptures. God. Right? Y'all right. wanted to look up Mark, right? God, God. God. So, read on that. It says, God, it says, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. It says, and Yahweh said unto him, therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. All right? Now, if you think about today, all right, when you murder uh, a Jake, or if a Jake is murdered, he, he murdered another Jake, man, he could get off with manslaughter, uh, self-defense. Murder an Edomite, he going to put you under the jail, all right? Throw away the key. No parole, all right? So that's why the Most High put that bar all right, upon Cain to let the people know, hey, don't kill him. He got to serve out his punishment, all right? And if anybody do kill him, vengeance is going to be upon you sevenfold, all right? And to add to it, when you kill an Edomite now, that statue of limitations don't ever close to stay open. But they'll come get you 50 years down the road. Convict you again. They find out, hey, that was him. Hey, I think that was him that killed such and such 50 years ago. Man, they'll go back and take all this technology they got in there and take it all the way back 50 years ago and formulate the, the crime scene over and your ass will get charged for it. God. You've been living your life, then had a whole family, grandkids, chilling on your little old ranch, your little old picket fence ranch, and your ass will be in jail when you 80 years old for some God. shit you did when you was 30. Yeah, 50 years ago. If they don't close that statute of limitations on when you kill an Edomite. You know, you don't let it be some Edomite they call in this society prominent. Oh man. Of a position or a high statute. Yeah, they gon' they gonna be looking for your ass. Cut. Matter of fact, they're gonna, they, they gonna take a few Jakes down they ain't got nothing to do with just to get you in there. Cut. Uh, shit, a few Jakes gonna be going to the pen for nothing. Yeah. You know? Uh, hey, that's like they did uh OJ, right? They, they, he got off killing his wife, then they come back and caught him in some more. But now he ain't getting out. They charged him stealing his own stuff. Now he ain't getting out. <laughs> what type of charge is that? Stealing your own stuff. Stealing your own shit. Damn. That's so cold. Really? And then, hey, that's how much time they get him. They get him. When you get gay, stealing your own stuff, that's like saying, if you go take some money out the bank, when you walk out, they can put your ass in the pen. At your own account. But once you put that in that account, it really belongs to the bank. Yeah. And they give it right back. So that's like you stealing from yourself. They really can take your ass to jail when you walk out the bank. That'd be fucked up. Charge out the bank. You saw make up laws, man. Hey, you saw make up laws just for Jake, man. God, just to trap Jake, man. They don't even go by their own law. They make up law just to entrap Jake, man. Hey, in the most high, hey, in the most high set this devil up and let him do what he's doing on the earth. And that's why sin is increasing, man. Left and right, man. You know? That's why I like that, man. You know? But look up that word mark, y'all can y'all keep going. Come. Uh this is Genesis. 
4 and 15. And then Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord Yahweh set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him shall kill him. God. All right, this is a uh, uh, blue letter, uh, Hebrews uh, 2.26. Number 12 10. The word for mark there is out, 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 out. So the word is Hebrews 226. The word is oak. Alright. Says one, a sign, a signal. Alright. So the most high put a sign, a signal. It says a distinguishing mark. It says a banner. A remembrance. A miraculous sign. Yeah, it wasn't like he, he put a little spot on it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, put a little spot on his head. I put a little spot on his arm. No, he turned his whole. He turned his whole body leprous, cut, so-called white. Right? Yeah. And why did he do that? Because of the sin, right? Now, key evidence to show you uh, when you sin against the Most High. What he do? He pull them elements out of you, God, right? So you become so-called white because we know they ain't white; they're really red. Huh. Okay, but we call it so-called white today. God, okay. But uh, to edify that, give me numbers twelve and ten. This right? numbers twelve and ten. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked up on Miriam, and, and behold, she was leprous. She was leprous. Now, when you read that story, what was she was doing? Bucking up against Moses, Come. which she wasn't supposed to do. In other words, she was sinning. So he hit her with leprous. Right? Uh, Go ahead. Read it. It says, this, uh, this uh, number 12 and 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Verse 11. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not, lay not the sin upon us. Lay not the sin upon us. So, what was the sin that she committed? She bucked up against Moses. God. So, when the Mo when when Cain bucked up against the Most High and went against the order of the Most High, what the Most High do? Hit him with leprosy. God, because he had sin. So everybody back then in the ancient world that was dark skinned, when they seen that, they said, "Oh, he sinned against the Most High. Yeah. That's why he looked like that." Yeah. God, see, see how that play out, and that was the signal. Okay, that was the sign. Oh, them sinners right there. So, when we look at Esau today, Come what on. comes to our minds is we in this truth. Right. Since we didn't came back to the reality of the scriptures and understand the counsel of the Yahweh Bashi Shah, they said, oh, they're going to send us right there. That's the Edomites. That's the Edomites. Yeah, brother, they did a bag of what you were saying. This, uh, uh, this, uh, 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 Numbers 12 and 1. He said, and Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman, right, whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Go ahead. Verse 2. And they said, Have the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Mm -hmm. Have he not spoken also by us? Mm -hmm. And the Lord heard it. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were, which were upon the face of the earth. Right, go ahead. Verse 4. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and, uh, and unto Aaron and unto Miriam. It says, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation that, uh, that they three came out. Verse 5. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet 
um, among you, I, the Lord, will make, make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. Right. Verse 7, my servant Mo Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. Mm -hmm. With him will I, will I speak mouth to mouth, yeah. even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And this, uh, the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Sound like Mary wanted to be in charge. Come, yeah. you sub authority <laughs> over a man. Yeah. Come, sound like, sound like she wanted to be in charge. Sound like she wanted to be in charge. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right. Go ahead. It says, wherefore then, uh, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Let me Moses? take that back. That's what she wanted to do. Come, when you read the story, when you extrapolate, yeah. read between <laughs> the lines. God. That's what she wanted to do. She wanted yeah. to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a seat of authority. Yeah, and then you see that slick, slick shit she said when she said, ain't the Lord spoke. She really wanted to say, the Lord speak to me too. But she added Aaron in there. All right, Mike, that sound like the nigga yeah. woman, man. That's why the most I got up. Got her, yeah. Yep. you see? All right. All right, it says, uh, it says, verse 8. And it said, with him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dog speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. It says, wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Question. Verse 9. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. Mm, wait a minute. You mean to tell me the Lord got angry? Mm -hmm. He said, Lord. <laughs> no, it said, it said anger. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you put that in there or what. No, it said, write it that said in there? the anger of oh, the Lord. Okay. I'm just Jacob, you know. Jacob be saying, what kind of Bible is that? That's a Greek Bible. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is that a, yeah. <laughs> is that a Greek Bible? Let me see that. Is that the King James? Yeah. Jacob yeah, Jacob wants to see a sign, bro. Yeah. It says, and the anger of the Lord was killed against him, and he departed. Now, verse 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous. White as snow, and Aaron looked upon Mary, and behold, she was left. So, going back to Cain, right, and God. using that as an example, right? God. Guess what will happen to you if you sin against the Most High? It will hit you with left. God. So, go on, let's go back to Cain. Let's drop that. Go back to Cain. Look up that mark. God. It says. Look up that mark. You look at the. Got they got that on deck. Yeah, I still got it. Okay. Con. It says. Genesis 4, 15. Just to build on what you was. And, you, you know, and Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken upon him sevenfold. And the Lord Yahweh set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him shall should kill him. God. And the Lord power said, the Lord Yahweh set a sign, a miraculous sign. Alright? That's that lips. Alright? Uh. And to back that up, the scriptures tell you that the wages of sin is death, right? Now, if you go to a funeral and you observe any dead body, all right, in the casket, it has that pale white uh, 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 shade on them. So that was a mark of death that he put up on Cain also, because that's that's how you know that it was leprosy, all 